Ciao, this is Daniel DiTero and welcome to episode 8 where I'm going to prepare a popular Italian dessert made with mascarpone cheese, lady fingers, and espresso, tiramisu, which roughly translates to pick me up or make me happy. Tiramisu has a long list of ingredients which you can find on my website www.italianmeddiet.com. This recipe requires one half cup of espresso. You can use double strength regular coffee if you don't have an espresso maker. This is the typical espresso maker found in most Italian households. You'll need about 40 crisp lady fingers. Do not use the soft lady fingers. The lady fingers are dipped in espresso. Using soft lady fingers will result in a mushy dessert. Use a plate or bowl large enough to hold the lady fingers and the espresso coffee mixture. To one half cup of brandy or cognac, add one half cup of espresso and two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Stir to combine and then set aside to cool. In a heavy saucepan or the top of a double boiler, combine five egg yolks, one quarter cup of sugar, and one half cup of marsala or brandy. Use a whisk or hand mixer to thoroughly combine the ingredients. Place the pan over medium low heat or if you're using a double boiler, over hot but not boiling water. Heat the egg mixture stirring constantly until it thickens. This will take between two to four minutes depending on the temperature. Then remove from heat, cover, and refrigerate to cool. In a large bowl or stand mixer, combine one cup of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Using a stand mixer or hand mixer, whip until it forms stiff peaks. This will take a couple minutes depending on the type of mixer you use and the speed. Add one pound of mascarpone cheese that's been allowed to come up to room temperature. Mascarpone is a sweet Italian cream cheese. You can substitute cream cheese, but it won't have the same flavor or texture. Mix on low speed until the mascarpone is combined into the whipped cream. This step will take a couple minutes. Add the cooled egg mixture and mix on low speed to combine the egg mixture into the cream and cheese. Scrape the sides of the bowl and continue to mix on low speed until the mixture is fairly well combined. Use a spatula to fold the cream cheese mixture until it's a uniform consistency. Now we're ready to assemble the tiramisu. I'm using a 9 by 9 inch baking dish which accommodates three layers of lady fingers. A 9 by 13 inch baking dish will accommodate two layers of lady fingers. Place a layer of lady fingers in the dish and trim if necessary using a sharp knife. Pour the cooled coffee mixture into your plate. Dip each lady finger into the coffee to coat all sides and place in the pan. Repeat until you've completed the first layer. Add one third of the cheese mixture and evenly spread it across the top of the lady fingers. If you're using a 9 by 13 inch baking dish, add one half of the cheese mixture at this time. Grate unsweetened baking chocolate over the top of the cheese mixture. You can substitute cocoa powder if you don't have unsweetened baking chocolate. Repeat for the next two layers for a 9 by 9 inch tiramisu. If you're using a 9 by 13 inch baking dish, repeat for the final layer. Cover and refrigerate at least 8 hours to allow the lady fingers to soften and the flavors to blend. Tiramisu can be prepared and refrigerated up to 2 days before serving. A 4 ounce serving of tiramisu has about 410 calories with over 50% of the calories coming from fat. This is a rich dessert that should be enjoyed in moderation. Thanks for watching. Buon appetito!